I hope this is the last time I have to talk about these Dune movie posters and this lie that somehow a special poster was designed just for China, excluding black actress Sharon Duncan Brewster because China doesn't want black people in their movie posters. It was a complete lie. It's easy to debunk. All you have to do is call somebody up in China that you know, especially if you're claiming to be an expert on China or claiming to be a journalist, call someone up in China and ask them, take a picture of, the, of your local cinema and tell me what poster they're using outside their cinema. And if you did that, you would have found this. Posters like this. So there's Sharon Duncan Brewster on a Chinese movie poster in China, mainland China. Here's the app that they're using in China. There she is, she's there, she's right there. Uh, here's another one outside of a cinema. There's Sharon Duncan Brewster. There's Zendaya, who's also a black actress. She's black on her father's side. And so there are black women on Chinese movie posters and in the apps that Chinese people use to book tickets and check showtimes. So there's another one. There she is. This uh, looks like at a bus stop in China, mainland China. So easy to debunk. It was a, it was a deliberate lie that was very easy to debunk. And so who, who said this? So I did one video about Winston Sturzel and Matthew Tyler, these anti-China uh, YouTubers. So they, they started by telling this lie. And then who else told this lie? Uh, there was the China Africa Project. They repeated the lie verbatim. They even, they even said that they did a Baidu image search. That's how they figured this out, which is exactly what Winston Sturzel and Matthew Tai said. Uh, and I'm just thinking that that's quite a coincidence that they both used the same illogical, flawed research method to come to what was an absolutely wrong conclusion. Both of them supposedly independently and in such close proximity with one another. So Winston and Matt did their video one day, the China Africa Project was posting on Twitter the next day. But very odd, very odd timing, very odd coincidences here. And so uh, the China Africa Project deleted their tweet. You can see right there it was deleted. And uh, here's Daniel Dumbrell. He's the one who called them out on it. And, and so they're saying that the poster excluded Sharon Duncan Brewster because Chinese people don't want black people on their movie posters. And Daniel saying, no, they didn't. That's one of many posters made by the studio and used in the West as well. But as a matter of fact, China is mostly using the version with Sharon present. You could have easily verified this on your own, just like I said. And here are the pictures that Daniel includes in his tweet. This is the English version of the one they claimed was designed specifically for China. So it, it wasn't designed for China. It was designed by the studio for everybody and it's in English, and then it was translated into Chi Chinese. Uh, and then he shows this at the bus stop with Sharon Duncan Brewster. This is on mainland China. And an, again, in Chinese, there's Sharon Duncan Brewster. And then again, and there's Zendaya, who's also a black actress. So two black actresses on the movie posters in China. This notion that Chinese people don't want black people on their movie posters, is it's a lie. It's a vicious lie made to stir up hate and resentment uh, against China, Chinese people, China as a nation, the Chinese government. This is what this is designed. It's propaganda to poison people against another group of people, to stir up hatred toward a group of people. Now, who else is telling this lie now? So that, that was all in the span of two days. And then uh, now, just recently, CARE. So this CARE is the Council on American Islamic Relations. And this is a, a fake uh, Islam interest group in the US. They, they play deliberately so. They play the villain to the Islamic, the Islamophobic industry in the US. It's like professional wrestling. They, they do this to keep the war on terror going. And by doing so, they're able to justify wars, massive investments in the arms industry, and in all kinds of ways of controlling the population uh, all across the West. And so anyway, what did CARE say about this? Well, they repeat, repeated verbatim the exact same stupid lie using the exact same posters that have already, this has already been completely debunked. And they're saying it's bad enough that American corporations have censored books, news sites, social media platforms, and even the Bible and the Quran to accommodate China, said CARE National Communications Director. The removal of Sharon 
Duncan Brewster's image from the Dune poster in China creates the impression that an American company is now censoring the very appearance of black women to satisfy its own racist misconceptions about audiences in China. Black Lives Matter. What? What a joke. And we already know that this isn't true, that the movie poster used in China features Sharon Duncan Brewster. We know that. So this is a lie that CARE did absolutely no fact checking on and just rushed to put out there. Uh, after Winston and Matt already retracted their claim and after China Africa Project deleted their tweet. And then, and then they say, as they say, fear is the mind killer. So they just have this movie quote that they took from Dune, which makes the way they use it makes absolutely no sense. So this is just uh, idiotic, basically. Uh, in a marketing push for audiences in China to see the science fiction epic, there is little evidence of Sharon Duncan Brewster, a British actress of Tr Trinidadian heritage. And they're citing the Times. So the Times repeated this stupid lie days after it was already retracted by the people who told it first. And then here is the Daily Mail, a black act British actress, uh, Sharon Duncan Brewster, who has a major role in Hollywood film Dune, was reportedly removed from the poster released for audiences in China. Now, these are supposed to be real journalists, the, the Daily Mail, the Times. Don't they know anyone in China that could have fact-checked this for them? Could have taken a picture of the movie posters being used to promote the film in China? And then they would have realized this was stupid and they wouldn't have printed it. Now, what's hilarious is that uh, I had to use Wayback Machine to find the Daily Mail article because apparently the, the day they did this, they did this a couple of days after Winston and Matt told this lie and then retracted it. So then the Daily Mail published this, but then they almost immediately seemed to have deleted it and you could only find it on Wayback Machine. But you could still see the CARE tweet promoting it. So, so here, the exact same posters, the exact same stupid lie, and they did absolutely nothing to fact check this, this lie that they helped spread. And here's the Daily Mail tweet, which is actually still up. So I, maybe it's just me, I can't, can't click on the Daily Mail article. Maybe it's still up, I don't know. And here's the Times, their article is still up. So again, just look at the date, October 26. Uh, Hollywood removes black actress from Dune poster in China. An, an absolute lie. She's she's in almost, I haven't actually seen a poster from China where she's not in it. Let, let me tell you what happened here. On the exact same day, all of these supposedly independent uh, groups, people, YouTubers, uh, newspapers, on the very same day, they all decided to tell this lie. All at the same time, they decided, we're going to spread this lie about uh, this movie poster. Or, or they thought it was true and they didn't bother to fact check it. And they, they were, someone somewhere sent them this information and they decided they were all going to do something on it. And so Matthew Ty and Winston Sturzel, because they're, they're just loud mouths on YouTube, there's no process that they have to go through. They could just shoot their mouth off and repeat this on the same day they, they got the email or they saw it wherever they saw it. Uh, for the China Africa project, doing it the next day uh, it's hard to tell why they waited a day maybe there's there's more of a process or they had a slotted into scheduled posts they already had uh, waiting queued up and then of course for the daily mail and the times when they see something that they want to spread first they have to write the article which takes a little while then they have to have it edited and then they have to have it fit into a schedule where there's other content already scheduled to be published so this is why you saw this like drip 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 effect where you saw it come out from matt and winston on the first day and then china africa project the next day and then these newspapers a couple of days later because there's just this delay in in the process of getting content out but what does that mean? That means that on the very same day or virtually the same day, they all decided to tell this lie at the same time. And they, they, what is their source? They never really tell you what their source is. Matthew Tai and Winston Sturzel said they did a Baidu search. So this is like uh, China's version of Google. They did an image search on it and they looked at the movie posters for Dune and they, they claim this is how they came to their conclusion, which is not, is not Oh, the way you do research. If you want to know what movie posters they're using in China, you ask someone in China to tell you what movie posters they're using. It's so simple. 
Uh, but you could dismiss that. You could give them benefit of the doubt. They're not professional researchers. They're, they're just loud mouths who don't like China and they say bad things about China. So you could give them benefit of the doubt that they don't know how to do real research. But what is the China Africa Project's excuse? Why didn't they fact check it? Why didn't they ask someone in China? They're, they're experts about what China's doing in Africa and they don't even know what's going on in China. Uh, so between that and the very unethical way they just deleted it and didn't admit that they, they spread this, they helped spread a lie that would foster hatred among Western audiences against Chinese people. They didn't apologize for it. They didn't officially acknowledge that they screwed up. And so uh, it's very hard to take them seriously as, as some sort of research organization. And then the Daily Mail and the Times, these are newspapers. They're, this is the only thing that they're supposed to do is fact check things and report report the truth to people. And their report came out days after this lie was being told and people had already retracted it and yet they decided it was still fit for print. And this tells you so much about how these disinformation and propaganda campaigns work, how there's a single lie that's put out there by someone, we don't know who, I don't, I don't have access to the email or, or no one is telling us the truth about what their source was for this story, but someone put that out there and they all went to work on it. And that's why you saw it. it. It came out staggered like that because they have different processes of getting information out to audiences and that's it. So keep this in mind. The next time you see something uh, from these same people or the same type of people, keep in mind that they're probably lying. And that just because a lot of people are repeating the same story doesn't mean that it's true. It just means there's a, a they're very concerted in their efforts to lie to you. And just think back to 2003 and all of the lies about weapons of mass destruction in Iraq. They all told those lies. None of them, none of them thought for a minute that it was true. And they were just doing their job. So very dangerous. And when you tell these lies, even after you retract them, the damage is done in the minds of many people now. They think Chinese people are racist against black people. Uh, they don't want black people on their movie posters, even though they obviously are and it's not an issue in China. And uh, Asian people living in the West are going to be perceived as being racist because of this. And it's going to ratchet up tensions and animosity towards uh, Asian people. And uh, this has real world consequences. People will probably get hurt because of lies told like this. So uh, that's another thing to keep in mind. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share it. Think about subscribing. It's free to do. It helps the channel grow. Check the video description for all of these links that I just referenced. Check them out. And when you see something like this, take a, take a screenshot or archive it because you see a lot of this going on now where they, they make these outrageous claims, they do their damage and then they retract it or delete it. Uh, in the video description, there's also ways you can help support my work to everyone who has been, whether it's through Patreon month to month, one-time donations, or even if you're just helping share my work with others, this is greatly appreciated. I could not do this without that help. So thank you. And as always, thank you for watching.